Rider comes with many of the navigation features that we are accustomed to in ReSharper and on the IntelliJ platform. I could go to a specific type. I could go to a specific file. From a usage of a type, I could navigate to its declaration. I could invoke the navigate to menu. From there, go to implementation, base symbols, find usages of symbol, etc. Derive symbols. From here and from most tool windows, I can also do searches. So event definition takes me there. From there, again, invoke the navigate to menu. See find usages of symbol. From any usage, I can directly navigate to it. There's also a keyboard combination of command E or control E or the corresponding one for recent files, which takes me to the recent files that I've been very quickly and shift command E, which takes me to the recent files that I have edited. It's very useful to click on the gearbox here and say auto scroll from source. And that way, as I change to different files, it will automatically align that with the solution explorer. In the solution explorer, I can also do searches. We can also see the actual structure. We can also see the file structure, which shows us the different symbols that appear in the actual file you can also navigate to a specific symbol. So for instance, if I write name, it will show me any symbol across the solution with name. We also have namespace filtering. So if I do type reference, for instance, using camel case and then do full name, that will take me to anything on the type reference full name. If we come across a type that we don't have the source code for, such as bool, we can simply just navigate to it and Rider will automatically decompile this using .peak under the covers. We also have a navigation bar which provides us with the path of where we are. And on here again, we can select anything and search for things. Now you can by default switch this off and then invoke it using the corresponding keyboard shortcut. And from here again, do any types of searches, etc. We can in fact even create folders and files directly using the navigation bar and a keyboard shortcut, which allows us to create files context aware in where we are situated under the path. There is also double shift search everywhere, which would be the equivalent of go to everything. And from here, I can pretty much search for anything, whether it's a type, whether it's files, symbols, etc. We can in fact even search for settings. So if I write plugins, that would show me the actual plugins in the IDE. If I want to get rid of all of these tool windows, I can quickly do that using a keyboard combination, which will take me into kind of like a full canvas edit mode. And I can invoke it again to bring back my tool windows. Obviously, I can also hide these individually. And we can click on this icon over here to see all of the different tool windows or invoke them using the keyboard combination of control or command and the actual number. So command one in my case would open and hide the solution explorer. One good keyboard combination to remember is shift command a or shift control a. And this allows us to look up actions that we can invoke or just simply look up the actual keyboard combination. So let's say for instance, I am on MB tests and I don't know how to invoke the rename refactoring. So I could just say rename and this would invoke it for me. But we also notice that as we type, it provides us with information about the keyboard shortcut associated to it. Of course, we also have control T, which provides us with the refactor this menu. And from here we can invoke the different refactorings. We also have other features that you're accustomed to in ReSharper. So here you see that we have the light bulb and I could hit alt enter and use a intention or quick fix to solve the issue that Ryder is pointing out to me. And we can see all of the different inspections for each project, much the same way as we do with ReSharper. And in addition, we also have solution wide analysis. So we can enable that. And then we can now see all of the different errors in the solution. Expand on these and navigate to them as we see necessary.